Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can enter employee payroll information when you add new employees to the employees list within the new employee window. You can also edit the employees payroll data by using the edit employee window if their payroll information changes. In either the new employee or edit employee windows, you can enter or edit payroll information by selecting the payroll info tab at the left side of either window. On the payroll info tab, you select the payroll schedule for the employee from the payroll schedule drop down menu. Then enter the type of pay the employee receives by selecting a compensation payroll item from the item name column within the earnings section. To the right of that selected item, you then enter the amount of compensation into the hourly slash annual rate column. Then enter any additions, deductions, or company contributions into the additions, deductions, and company contributions section by selecting the name of the desired payroll item from the item name column. Then enter the amount for each item entered as well as the annual limit for each if needed. If the employee uses time data entered into the weekly timesheet or the time and enter single activity windows in order to record their hours worked, then check the use time data to create paychecks checkbox at the bottom of this tab. If the employee is covered by a qualifying pension plan, check the employee is covered by a qualified pension plan checkbox. You can then set the employee's payroll tax data by clicking the Taxes button to open the Taxes dialog box. Here you enter the employee's payroll tax withholding information into the Federal, State, and Other tabs. Note that the Other tab is used for any special state or local payroll tax information that is required. Once you have entered their payroll tax information, click the OK button within the Taxes dialog box to return to the New Employee or Edit Employee window. You can enter the employee's sick and vacation time by clicking the Sick and Vacation button within the Payroll Info tab to open the Sick and Vacation dialog box. In both the Sick and Vacation sections, you can use the Accrual Period drop-down to select how the employee accrues sick and vacation time. You can then enter the number of hours to accrue, the maximum number of hours to accrue, as well as if and when the number of hours are to be reset by entering the desired values into the fields that are available. When you have finished entering the sick and vacation information for the employee, click the OK button within the sick and vacation dialog box to return to either the new employee or edit employee window. When you are finished setting up the employee's payroll data, click the OK button within either the new employee or edit employee windows to close the window and save your changes. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.